The unveiling of the next generation flying wing bomber, Northrop Grumman's B-21 Raider for the U.S. Air Force, was December 2, 2022 at the company facility in Palmdale, California. Drama and fanfare aside, the reveal gave a tantalizing first look at the new bomber. The Air Force, to the chagrin of nomenclature purists, has acknowledged the Raider was assigned the designation B-21 since it would be the 21st century's first new bomber. The name Raider is an homage to the Doolittle Raiders of World War II fame. Meanwhile, construction of B-21 Raider facilities is already underway at Ellsworth Air Force Base near Rapid City, South Dakota. Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri and Dias Air Force Base, Texas are also considered likely future B-21 homes. The B-21 could be in service by 2026 or 27, subject to the rigors of flight testing. Specific performance parameters and dimensions are not released, but the Air Force says the B-21 is able to deliver nuclear and conventional weapons. They describe the aircraft as a nuclear-capable penetrating strike stealth bomber. Gathering intel and providing battle management are other tasks envisioned for the B-21. The B-21 is said to employ the benefits of a half-century of stealth research and operations. The Air Force envisions a production run of at least 100 B-21s, eventually replacing B-1s, B-2s, and maybe the B-52. There is some unspoken irony in the Raider's nocturnal unveiling inside a hangar, since its predecessor, the B-2, was unveiled outdoors in Palmdale in broad daylight, with media access limited to frontal views. But an enterprising Aviation Week reporter who followed FAA rules flew overhead above 1,000 feet, obtaining plan view photos of the B-2 that scooped the rest of the media. The reporter figured satellites from a potential adversary nation would surely get such views, so what risk could the overflight have? I'm Fred Johnson and you are watching the Aerial Images channel on YouTube. Thanks and thanks for subscribing.